All right, so now here we are with 299 volts. You can see it's about, okay, 300 volts. Now the first thing we're going to do is turn the toggle switch off. You have to remember to turn the toggle switch off before you do this. So there's the transformer box. Here's the apparatus here. Now we've got the alligator clip here and the tin foil. So let's see. The alligator clip is right here. Tin foil is right here. And here's the other alligator clip. We're going to back this camera up just a little bit. So you can see the whole scene. So double check, make sure the toggle switch is off and we're ready to go. So remember I'm going to touch this alligator clip to the top of the tin foil but I'm going to be looking at the aluminum foil through the screen and make sure to remind everyone in the audience if they can see the tin foil without looking through the screen that's not good they need to look at it through the screen. So here we go. And now there is no more aluminum foil. Well, actually, there is a little bit in there. All right, so we just blasted that aluminum foil, turned it into a plasma, most of it. And uh, we had a 300 volts when we did this. Now, if you can see that, we have 159 volts left. So like I said, you do not need to charge it up to 395. You can charge it up to 200 and it'll be fine. Also another thing that I didn't mention, um, the aluminum foil is best to be a uh, rectangle, because if you've got like a smaller part somewhere, then that part's going to get blasted harder. You might just blast the aluminum foil in half, which just doesn't make for as good a show. So I'm going to make sure I'm not touching both ends. I'm going to put a new piece of aluminum foil in there. And we're going to go ahead and let the camera watch this time. Alright, that was not as good a show. Just kind of blasted it sideways there just wasn't enough voltage so you definitely want to have more than 150 volts but 300 volts was definitely sufficient <laughs>